Well, good morning again, and uh, thanks for joining me for our daily devotion as we wrap up this week and get ready for our Sunday. Uh, Speaking of Sunday coming up, I thought we could take a little time this morning to review our gospel text. So on Sunday, we're going to be in the third week of our series and focusing on being all in, uh, or better yet, the Lord being all in for us, which we're focusing on uh, the scripture that speaks about being able to serve God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. And also, of course, to love our neighbor as ourself, Jesus commands us and shares with us. So today, let's look at the gospel lesson, because uh, we're not going to have time to be able to get to that on Sunday. Uh, but again, please join us for that, and let's just prepare our hearts now already over the weekend to be able to hear that message. Uh, the gospel text for this Sunday comes from the book of John chapter 16, and I'm going to begin at verse 20 this morning. Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you will have sorrow for now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. I have said these things, that in me you may have peace, and in the world you will have that tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Isn't that the truth? Uh, When we are in the midst of winning, we don't look back so much on failures or sorrows or problems that have occurred. They're not erased from our memory. We still remember those things, and God created us like that for a reason. Uh, But they fade. They they slip away into the distance. Think about a sports team that wins uh, some type of national championship. When they are celebrating that night uh, that they've won Game 7, that they are champions of the, the world, Do they look back and start thinking about all their losses? Oh, we could have done better here. We could have done this. No, they they celebrate in everything that they've done. What about maybe an inventor? How about that? Uh, When an inventor finally, on his 52nd try, has been trying to create something, and it's been breaking down over and over and over again, and finally, after these 52 tries, it happens. It works. Uh, His creation comes to life. Does he take that moment then to look back on all the other 50 plus failures and think, oh, look at all these failures I have to be able to look at. No, they they celebrate in that moment. So Jesus for us today uses this um, piece of imagery with a mother who is giving birth and how uh, very appropriate as we read this scripture on Mother's Day this Sunday. Uh, In that midst of a mom being able to have this child, it's just pure moment of blessing. I can remember my daughter being born and the the look on my wife's face as she sat with her and held her for the very first time and how special that was. Uh, She wasn't focused on the pain or that which had come the nine months of carrying her. She was all focused about that that moment, this special time in which she was hand in hand uh, with her flesh in her blood. Again, Jesus doesn't say that all those things uh, disappear from our mind or they won't happen. In fact, he closes the scripture passage in saying you are going to have failures in this world. You are going to have tribulations. But he says, take heart and know that I have overcome all things. I have even overcome death and overcome this world and overcome Satan just for you. And so today, Uh, remember how our Lord holds us to his chest today, how he embraces us, how he gives us everything, and how we can be able to celebrate now, today, no matter what is going on, even in our present, no matter what has happened in our past, because we have something great to be able to lift up and to be able to be joyful about. Take heart. Uh, God has overcome the world. Uh, We have an eternal life that waits for us in heaven with him. And we won't look back and think, oh, remember all those bad times? No, we'll think about 
look at this moment that we have with our Lord and with our Savior. We're in it today, and those trials and tribulations are here. But again, remember, even in this moment, whatever you're going through today, know that our Savior is right there with you. Allow him to hold you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, uh, today we just pray for everyone in our congregation or that's listening to this uh, devotion that is going through something that, that is tough today. Allow them to have uh, that peace that you talk about in our scripture passage, uh, the peace that only you can give, uh, that Lord, we know these things will fade, that they will come to an end. And for some of us, uh, we know that in the future, there are things that await us that are also going to be difficult to be able to go through. But allow us to focus on what is most important, what you have given to us in Jesus. In his name, we find that joy today. Amen. Again, blessings on your week, and uh, please come and join us for service on Sunday.